Hello, I'm Karen and I in the Cape Tower and we're going to carry on. This is going to be part three of our golf bag and golf club videos. Um, for this stage I'm actually going to start painting this silver. Um, as you can see from my um, little tub, because I put it into the lid, each time I put it back on it's dribbled down the side so you can't read particularly well the brand of that one. But I use the metallic food paints from Rainbow Dust because I think they're absolutely wonderful. But as with all of this set, this the golf clubs and golf bag set, this is something that you need time and patience for. So I've got my board and my greaseproof paper, and for this I've got a dowel. Uh, you can cut it down, you know, most people put them inside their cakes when they're stuck in the cakes, but I'm using this um, to support my golf clubs because when painting them, I discovered that if you if you paint them and you put them down, is that like you paint one half, put it down and leave it to dry and then turn it over and do the other side, you end up with a line all the way down and I didn't really like it, so I wanted to minimise that but also to try and speed up the process of actually painting it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to actually paint all of this and then we're going to rest it onto the actual dowel, and which means that you've only got this edge there is the only bit that's going to get any slight marking while you're actually from the actual paintwork as it's drying. But like I said, you need time and patience for this one. So, I'm going to put the board out of the way for a minute and we need to start off with a dry brush for this and today is just going to have its first coat it, even if you start these off in grey you're still going to need to have two coats so I'm going to go into this bit first into the join area if you haven't let yours dry properly this is where you're going to come undone so honestly don't rush these. If somebody says to you, oh, I need this in an emergency and it's like I, I need to have it yesterday kind of thing, say, I'm really sorry, but no. No, because all, because all you're going to do is just create some work that's, that's just going to be of a poor standard. And then you're just going to give yourself a bad reputation and you really don't want to do that. So um, when you're painting as well, even though these are dry, you're going to feel the, the this, even though your hands are dry, there's some kind of moisture there and you're going to start to feel it go slightly tacky. Okay, so um, you're going to try and hold it on the tip there. And then when we're going to do, we're doing this part, we're going to try and come up. It will look streaky, it will not look the best, the first coat you put on. I say, even if you use grey, it's still going to have some streaks. So you want to keep it as minimalistic as possible of your brush on it because it's just going to activate. Because you're putting moisture onto your icing, so it's activating the um, the tile powder, which is the edible glue, which then is going to make it become sticky and slimy. So that's it. I know this that you can see it's patchy. But honestly, you have to do it like this, otherwise you're just going to make it all fall to bits. So then I'm just going to get this and I'm going to rest it on the actual stick there. Okay, so I'll show you again because it's, it's the same. You start off in this part here where you've got your join and come around. And I'm just dipping into my lid a small amount onto the brush each time. We'll come around and I know it looks dreadful, but it's like the golf bag. It doesn't even look anything like a golf bag at this moment in time, so just don't worry about it. You're just going to paint this on. You want to try and come up and leave yourself roughly the same amount of space at the top because the top bit is where you're going to paint it black later on. But you could end up having to put three coats of the silver on. So, but if you do a quite a good 
finish like this then hopefully just two is going to be enough but like I said you can see through it it's patchy you've got to remember that this joining area there there's quite a lot of the um, of the food colouring that's actually gone into there so it's, it's the moisture's gone in it which is actually going to risk making the ends of your golf clubs come away so you've got to try and work quite quite quickly and put them into place and then these need to be left again you've got to leave these definitely overnight I've got a little drying den to keep my things all nice and safe and warm in there so um, but yes definitely overnight before you even attempt a second coat on these and you could come along later and go, oh, it feels dry, it's okay, I'll start it again. But honestly, in that little groove bit there where your joins are, that won't be dry. And that's where you're going to risk breaking your work. So you need patience and take your time with this. So, thank you for watching this next stage of these videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.